Kia ora. I'm going to share with you the June feature collection for Close to My Heart, which is called True Love. And there are some adhesive pearls in the kit. So I got the Workshops Your Way kit here, some pl photo placeholders, some of the nice gold thread. A pack of 6x12 uh, sticker sheets and also some chipboard shapes. And I use quite a bit of the chipboard shapes later on that you'll see. So there's a quite nice thick... Um, thick pieces that will uh, add a sort of layer and depth to the pages. Some stickers, these kits come with instructions, cutting guides, all sorts of things to make some beautiful pages. I'm just not very good at doing what I'm told so I like to pull the page together uh, to suit my photos and what I'm doing. So there's a whole lot of double-sided sheets of paper. That first one that you saw there was some cut aparts. So you can actually cut out those pieces and add them as embellishments on your page and you'll see later on that I do that with uh, part of it as well so sort of the bunting banner I'll use from that page so you can see that there's some gorgeous pieces in here uh, the colors are described as um, ballerina sugar plum eggplant sapphire mint sage new england ivy canary and white daisy and just back there in the kit you could also see that this comes with some page protectors so now I'm having a look through and choosing some papers that will match this photo grade or that will actually help the photo to stand out. This um, kit is described or this collection is described as having elegant florals and timeless designs and this fitted beautifully with um, Voodoo Cafe which is where the photo is taken where my family were having breakfast on our way um, before church and also before my daughter went to work and it's just down the road from her workplace. Um, so the Thin Cuts Lace Border would work beautifully with this collection and you'll see later on how I don't have the Thin Cuts collection but I actually trim off from that uh, Cut Aparts page a lace border off the bottom that I tuck into it. Now I'm arranging these chip, chip board pieces just trying to place them in a sort of a cluster around the photograph and just sort of tucking them onto the pages and thinking about where that will suit and how that will look. Uh, so you can see I'm just sort of doing some placing of bits and pieces and thinking about what that will look like as I put the pieces down. So I've put this um, page together at a scrap camp in Mosgiel. Uh, I had been saving these papers for this camp because I love having new stuff at the camps and so when this just before this idea book was coming out I collected kits and I um, refrained from using them so I was able to take the tripod and take some bits and pieces to film these process videos and I'm just slowly putting them together uh, as each month comes around so that I'm spacing out the different collections over the time. So I'm just um, now I'm cutting out that bunting or that banner and you can see um, down there that I did add that lace border piece from the cut aparts and there's the banner or the bunting at the top fussy cut around that now there's um, some stickers that I'm just pulling in to stick on the bottom of this photo now the photo was printed at Happy Moose which um, I love this fun Polaroid kind of design it's a nice thick uh, print and it works beautifully for these scrapbook pages So I'm just using the glue here to tip, um, to tuck around the edges uh, and uh, I decided just to put that paper in behind the frame just to add, um, add some more interest to it so it wasn't just a blank frame and then rearranging pieces just so that they tuck in there as to how I want them to look. A little bit of overlapping, a little bit of um, clustering And looking at the different embellishments and thinking, what am I going to use? Am I going to put them on or not? So just pulling out some pieces, thinking about how I am going to tie that all together. And I decide to use some of the foam dots to lift these chipboard pieces even further off that page. And some, of, not all of them, because you don't want them all the same height. That ruins sort of the... Um, the aesthetic of having some different layers in there. 
So finally decide on a position. It sometimes takes a while and it is a matter of just looking at it by eye and, um, and choosing rather than it being something that's measured or um, dictated from top to bottom or something like that. I really loved uh, having these sort of semi, the oval shapes pieces. It gives me some quite fun spaces and decisions to make about where to add in the journaling. So using these little um, pearl dots and their adhesive underneath already, which makes them really handy, and tucking them on just to add some interest at different points on the page. So these have, I think it's three different sizes on the, on the sheet. So you can mix up having some wider ones, some skinnier ones and, and things on the different parts of the page. And these pearls did tie in beautifully to this collection as well. So here I've got the, um, I've had the journaling pen, but I've decided I'm going to add a little bit more to it. And just fussy cutting around some of these hearts just to add a bit more cluster and having to use the adhesive because these were uh, taken from the cut apart page and so tucking them on there. Uh, I did the title that is down the bottom using the Cricut and you can just see some of these embellishments and a little bit closer up here. And you can see that I added the journaling at the top. Hey, thank you for watching.